Nintendo has announced that the Wii U version of Super Smash Bros. will make the promised holiday 2014 release. The company has announced a November 21st release date for North America. Nintendo Europe has lined up the game for a December 5th release in that territory. The first wave of Amiibos, Mario, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Fox, Samus, Wii Fit Trainer, Villager, Pikachu, Kirby, Marth, will arrive on the same day. A second wave of Amiibos, including Zelda, Diddy Kong, Luigi, Pit, Captain Falcon, and Lil Mac will be along on December 19th in Europe and sometime that month in North America. Nintendo has also announced that the GameCube controller, which is $29.99, will launch alongside Super Smash Bros. The game will also be available in a bundle with the GameCube controller, an adapter that allows players to use legacy game pads for $99.99. The adapter will be sold separately for $19.99. Europe is also getting a bundle that combines the game with a Mario Amiibo. So what we've got here is a lot of information, some of which we already know. Now for a long time, we heard rumors and saw speculation that November 21st was going to be the release date for the Wii U version of Super Smash Bros. Now Nintendo has finally confirmed it. Also, we have the actual Amiibo figures that we can use with the Wii U version along with the 3DS version of Smash Bros. The first wave, Mario, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Fox, Samus, Wii U Trainer, why I don't know, Villager, Pikachu, Kirby, and Marth. And then those first wave Amiibos are supposed to come out the same day as the Smash Brothers game. Also the GameCube controller along with the bundle that includes the GameCube controller coming out the same day that the game arrives too. And then the second wave includes Zelda, Diddy Kong, Luigi, Pit, Captain Falcon, and Little Mac. To me the, the figures for the Amiibos they could have done the release on them a little bit different. I mean, technically they should have had some of the major ones in the first wave, but that's just me. Now this adapter has always been a good idea, even though it's probably only going to be for the Super Smash Bros. Wii U game. But it does give life to an old controller that people have been holding on to for a long while if they still have their GameCube systems and some GameCube games. Especially those that still have the Smash Brothers game on the GameCube. 